Hi, I'm Nathan Peterson, OCD and anxiety specialist. If you don't think OCD recovery is real, you gotta take a look at this. I asked my friends on Instagram, what can you do now that your OCD didn't let you do before? And the responses were mind blowing, really. Close to 200 people shared their successes. I know when it comes to OCD, it can feel super hopeless, like you'll never be able to do the things you did before. But let me bring some hope into your life and watch this when you need to pick me up because man, recovery is possible. This is what people said they can now do that they couldn't do before. And it's all because of treatment. These are all real responses. I can hang out with my friends, sit in silence, drink coffee, hold my steering wheel, watch TV, read a book, give somebody a hug, make eye contact, go out in public, and the list goes on and on. I think now I just know more not to let the feelings bully me around, which gives me more power and confidence. I can shower and actually choose between a seven minute fast one or a 20 minute relaxing one, whereas OCD previously always required a distressing three hour shower. I can listen to songs with triggering content, leave the house, go into stores. I can read again, change my clothes, sleep in my bed, prepare food and clean the house. Allowing myself to just feel and experience what is happening to me mentally, emotionally and physically in the moment. My mental compulsion is to tense up and block out all the thoughts and feelings that have become reflexive. But now I can recognize when I am pushing away. I can talk without counting the number of times my tongue touches the back of my teeth. I can now eat my food with a steak knife instead of struggling to use a butter knife. I can cuddle my puppy and give him the love he deserves. I can shower myself and use the toilet without rushing through it or without feeling immense terror, rumination, and self-assuring and checking rituals. I can use bathrooms outside of my home. I can make food with dairy. I can eat meat. I can work, I can lay on the floor, I can use the bathroom without washing my hands. I can do almost anything I did before my OCD took over my life. Recovery is possible. Listening to metal I love, going to grocery stores that my brain says is emotionally contaminated, and reading scriptures. Be home alone again and not be deathly afraid of myself. Access my kitchen freely. Talk to people I was avoiding because I was scared I would hurt them by having any contact. I can watch romantic movies and listen to my favorite music again without the fear that what is described in the sad love songs or happening in movies might happen to me. My dog passed away in June, but for the last year of his life, I pet him more than I had in the last nine years before I found ERP, Exposure and Response Prevention. Quiet, being able to be quiet, being able to just enjoy silence. Go to a movie theater, buy myself clothing, watch TV, movies, read, walk past a fire alarm, drive down any street I want to, hold babies. The list goes on, drive, be happy in my relationship, enjoy intimacy, enjoy life. Being alone with my son. Wash my hands once and be done. Not have to wash them four more times. I can sleep, eat, and be in the presence of triggers without going into full panic mode. I can use knives and display them openly in the kitchen. I had a baby. Being able to read a suicide awareness billboard without feeling like I'm on an elevator dropping 50 stories above. Drive a car without wondering if I'm a bad person for the thoughts I'm having. Fell in love and didn't let relationship OCD ruin my relationship. I can go to the hospital, sit in a chair, and I don't have to immediately shower and wash my clothes once I get home. I can sleep well at night and I'm doing the job which I always wanted to do. Enjoy holiday dinners without having to worry the whole time. I can walk around my house without getting caught in compulsions every step. Shop for steak knives with my fiance, cook, be around my parents, watch TV and read thrillers. I can hug people. I can hold my daughter. I can sleep. I can live. As you heard all of these responses, you'll realize that recovery means something different for each person. Your perception and goal is your own. It is possible. A therapist can help you with these goals, but sometimes that's not an option. Luckily, I've outlined a step-by-step -step how to master your OCD from home program. 42 videos, worksheets, journal prompts that take you through 
exposure and response prevention. You can even preview it for free and I'm gonna link it down in the description. Also, I wanna keep this discussion going. What things can you do now that you were not able to do before because of your OCD? Let me know down in the comments. You are all simply amazing.